OK. This is an alternative photograph for Sergeant Pepper. Pretty damn cool. So I can tell you all about this. I'm a big Beatles fan. This is the way the Beatles wanted it to be on the front of the cover. You even got the cat in the hat, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's never heard this album. I think everyone knows who John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison is. If they don't, they don't live on this planet. The album's one of the most famous ever created. I think I should do pretty well. So how did you get this? I got it from an associate in Philadelphia. He works with EMI and Capital. These were actually made for the executives for the 20th anniversary of Sgt. Pepper in 1987. Everything about this album is really cool. It won Album of the Year. People say it's the best work the Beatles ever did. Exactly. By the mid-1960s, the Beatles wanted to get rid of their mop top image. They wanted to try something different. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band was basically their alter egos. And it became one of the most important albums in rock history. This is the way they wanted the cover to look. Everyone they chose were influential cultural icons, like W.C. Fields, Sonny Liston. Is that Betty Davis? Yeah, Betty Davis is Queen Elizabeth, I think. But um, this is different from the cover that was on the album because execs at EMI didn't want a bunch of these photos in there. This is an original with uh, Peter Blake, who signed it for us. So just to compare the two. OK. Uh, basically, the collage in the back is the same, but they're standing together right here. And like you see, Gandhi's missing. They were afraid in the Middle East his picture on the cover would affect sales. Exactly. And Einstein is hidden now. Yeah. This is what the artist intended to put on the cover. But then again, it's all about the bottom line in the end. Is there anything on the back of it? Yep. They have the two stamps from what they created them for, for the 20th. And then EMI puts their stamps on it. And obviously, they made 100 of them. This is the weird thing. There's no guarantee that this is only 100, because there probably was more made. The guys in the print shop probably made themselves up some. How much do you want? I'm looking for like around 800 bucks. <sighs> it's really hard to put a price on this. It's not signed by the photographer or the artist. I'll give you 500 bucks. Um, I think 500 bucks is a fair price. I am taking a real shot in the dark here. You know what? I'm in a good mood today. I'm going to let it go for 500. OK, man. All right. All right. Go write them up. All right, come on. I am really happy I picked this up. People are crazy about the Beatles. And an alternative version to one of their coolest album covers? No brainer. Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95, and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.